As we continue to work our way through chapter 10 with geometry, we're going to deal with another one with circumference. So remember, these are our two formulas. Since this is radius, I'm going to use this formula. So 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 23. So if I multiply that all together, I'm going to end up with 144 0.44 inches. Okay, area. Area is pi times radius squared. So in this one, it would be pi, which is 3.14 times the radius, which is 7 squared. So multiplying all those together, I end up with 153.86 yard square. Now, if they go to ask you to find area and they give you diameter, remember radius is half of this. So that means the radius would have to be 11 centimeters. And then I would go ahead and use my pi r squared. So 3.14 times 11 squared, which ends up being 379.94 centimeters squared. Okay, now, when you're dealing with similarity, which is what this big concept is here, similarity just means that there's some relationship there. So if I look at these two triangles, I can tell by looking at them that these are both the hypotenuse. So really to solve these, we need to be able to make a proportion. And I would probably do like the hypotenuse in the top and the leg in the bottom or some version of a cheater fraction here. So this one, 20 is the hypotenuse in this one and 9 is the hypotenuse in the other. 4 is the leg in this triangle and n is the one that's missing. And then go through and do your cross multiplying. So 20n equals 36. Divide by 20. Get n equals 1 and 4 fifths. Now, they have another one that's set up here, and they would like you to find both missing values here. And ultimately, what they want you to be able to do is do the perimeter of this one. So if I'm going to go through and set these up, I have to know that these two sides match. These two sides match, and then these two are going to match. So I have to use 15 and 25 as my kind of comparison. So let's say that I want to do this one. Let's call it x. That means 10 would have to pair up with the x. So if I cross multiply, 15x equals 10 times 25 which is 250, divide by 15, which reduces down to 50 over 3, which is 16 and 2 thirds. So that means this side right here is 16 and 2 thirds. Now, I'm just going to call this Y just so I have a different letter there. But if I go to set this up, 15 and 25 are going to have to be in both. But Y is going to match up with 13. So cross multiply 15Y equals 13 times 25, which is 325. Divide by 15. And 325 over 15 is going to reduce to 65 over 3, which is going to be 21 and 2 thirds. So this side is 21 and 2 thirds. 
So to find the perimeter, you've got to add those three sides all together. So if I add them all up, my perimeter is going to be 63 and one-third. And that would have to be inches. Okay, now, last problem. It says, Lola is standing outside the shopping mall, and she is 5.5 feet tall, and her shadow measures 7 feet. So somehow they are going to compare height to shadow. And Lola is one of the things that they're comparing it to. And also, eventually, a department store. So Lola is 5 foot 5. So 5.5, so 5.5 feet, so 5.6. And her shadow is 7 feet tall. It says, outside the, the department store, casting a shadow of 82 feet. Find out how tall the department store is. So cross multiply. So 7x equals 5.5 times 8.82 which will give you 451. Divide by 7, and x is 64. 